Hello and welcome to North Dakota 4-H, where youth and caring adults learn, grow, and work together. We build stronger communities through civic engagement, leadership, healthy living, and science. One of the most common ways to engage in 4-H is to join a 4-H club. Your club will be your information hub and provide you with support so you can get the most out of your 4-H experience. Your local NDSU Extension staff can help you find the right club for your interests and connect you with a 4-H leader. So you can do the area between these cabbages and those peppers. There are many types of 4-H clubs. You might be engaged in a 4-H club that focuses on a specific interest like shooting sports or science, for example. That type of club may only meet during specific times of the year. You might be in a school-based club that meets once a week and is led by school staff, an extension agent, or 4-H volunteer. For my club, my you may join a community club where you meet monthly in a member's home or facility and explore many different interest areas or you may choose to be in more than one type of club. Whether your 4-H club meets weekly, monthly, or for a set period of time, your attendance is important. The strength of a 4-H club comes from its members and your involvement will influence the direction of your club. Regardless of the type of club you are in, 4-H clubs promote belonging, independence, generosity, and mastery. In clubs, you learn to work together, serve on committees, and hold an officer position. You might be wondering what to expect at a 4-H club meeting. There are three parts. Every club meeting opens with the Pledge of Allegiance and the 4-H Pledge. The business portion of the meeting follows. Youth use a simplified form of Robert's Rules of Order to guide discussion and decision making about their club. All in favor say aye. Aye. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Meeting adjourned. The club meeting is often a member's first experience with parliamentary procedure, which allows members to efficiently discuss topics such as project ideas, service learning activities, or social events they want to complete throughout the year. Many clubs elect officers to help run and organize meetings. By serving as an officer, committee chair, or active participant, youth learn how to be engaged in effective meetings. Education is the heart of the 4-H club meeting. This portion takes between 30 and 60 minutes. Clubs often provide members learning opportunities they wouldn't have on their own. This could be making a club project, taking a tour, learning from a guest speaker, or participating in service learning. Youth are encouraged to develop strong communication skills by giving demonstrations or teaching others about what they have learned in their individual projects. Finally, Every 4-H meeting has time for recreation. This is a great way for youth to develop strong friendships, work together, and express themselves in a fun, relaxed setting. 4-H clubs are guided by caring adult volunteers who work with members to plan and do activities. However, 4-H club leaders can't do it alone. Parent involvement is critical to a club's success, so parents, ask how you can help. You might volunteer to teach a lesson or coordinate a service project. When you get involved, you will enjoy sharing a new experience with your child. 4-H meetings are where you will learn about and prepare for other exciting 4-H contests and events in your county and state 4-H program. We hope you have enjoyed learning about the 4-H club experience. And remember, your local NDSU Extension staff are available with resources to help you thrive in your 4-H club experience.